welcome to another tutorial my name again is Ed Nuhu. and then today i want to make this short tutorial you know you're trying to you know um detail our electrical plan here so it's very very simple i'm not going to take much of your time this video is meant to be very very short so in the electrical plan we do not normally do a whole lot of detailing yeah everything is basically clear to see so what you have to do here is we only create a legend for our um, our electrical plan. That's how the electrical plan detailing work. You don't have to do anything extraordinary. You just have to create a legend that when the person reading the plan sees, they're able to know that, okay, this means that or that is that or this is that. That's how the whole thing is going to be like. So today we are not going to, we are not going to waste much time. Yeah. So to get into the video, we first have to, you know, take some things out here so first i want to freeze the the roof here so that's the button for roof and freeze so i want to freeze that then we want to you know bring in the names the name tags of the species we created so if you have not watched the video on species i i think you should watch it i'm going to leave it down in the description and it's going to pop up somewhere up there so you should check it out and understand how the species work because it's going to you know we are going to use this multiple times if we, when we want to give the indicates the room names yeah that's the idea so you want to you know watch the video and understand the video yes okay so to do that i want to set my skill first because we'll be using annotations yeah, we'll be using annotation so i want my scale to be one in a quarter inch yeah and then i want to start with the name tag so annotations you go to annotations we have room tags here so you click on it you select the first one basically so room tags is going to pop this up then you just hover over this click then it comes you put it where you want it to be at click but you don't want it to cover uh uh, let's say the the ceiling lights that we have here, you don't want it to cover it so you want to put it at a bit of an, an angle where it's not covering anything so just like that washroom bedroom you don't need to be going through the annotations and creating new stuff making a whole thing out of the whole so that's why we create the spaces so i suggest you watch the video and then you understand how the whole thing goes about so simply as i am doing i already have the names um i already have the names already uh created so i just have to just put them in so now that we are done with our spaces what we want to do it we want to go to the layer and then we want to freeze the the tags you want to freeze the hatch the hatching of this piece sorry you want to freeze the hatching of this piece so you want everything to be clear so that everybody can see that okay this is here that is the end that is, that's the whole idea but the rooms have to be you know have to be readable for people to know that okay this is that room that is that room even though you have your appliances in there yeah so this is going to be very simple um i've already created the legend for this particular plan but to do it is very simple you just create your lines and then you indicate the symbols here description here you just hover your mouth you you do it for the particular um project you are doing if you do not have anything in here don't bring it in the legend it's going to be a waste of time so whatever you have here that is what you put in your legend so i did everything and i left out the this television communication thing here so i if i should come here i have um communication tv in the description so i have communication tv so here is my legend here is my legend it's very simple to do so so just as you can see it's it's just uh a work of create lines and then make use of them so let me bring the the television thing here no. okay so let me just bring it from the design center i don't want to go through the hustle of you know so 
Um, let me go back here. Yeah. Communication. I have a television here. That's it. So I want to drag this in. And then put this around here. Okay, my scale it. My... So let me scale it up a bit so that we can see it. So basic modify to scale. And then we scale it from this angle. I'm just scaling it up so that it becomes a bit bigger for us all to, you know, to see. Yeah. And then I want to just copy this line and bring it down. Like there. I want to create a copy of this line. Escape. And then I'm going to extend these lines. So you can get something from here. How to extend lines. You come here. You have extended and trim. So I'm going to extend the lines. So I just select the line I want to extend. If there was, let's see, this line was around here and I brought it here. It would extend. But since there's nothing there to extend to, that's why it's showing that there's nothing there. But here, there is a line down here for this to extend to. That's why it's, it pops up. So we just extend the lines. Just like that. Similarly, if I want to trim lines, I just come here. I go to trim. That can be trimmed. That can be trimmed. Trimming is done to a particular um, point of intersection. So there is a point of intersection here. So I can trim that. I can trim that. I can trim that. But to erase is going to do a different thing altogether. So you want to check it out. So with the television, I have communication television here. So I can just um, click on this, create a copy of it. Bring it down here. Press escape. Double click on it. And then change the description to um, communication. So, yeah. Communication. Television. Yeah, just like that. So I can just just leave it like this. So everybody anybody who sees the the legend is going to know what is in the plan here. So everything in the plan here, the electrical side, everything in the plan here is in my legend here. So after doing that, I want to send it to the uh to the plan, the electrical plan there. So I'm just going to select everything. Control C to copy. You can right click and copy as well. Control C to copy. And then I didn't paste in place because I don't want it here. From this image and um, from this drawing editor, this is where the legend is. So if I paste it in place, it's going to be on top of this image here, um, the plan here. And I don't want it. I want it to be somewhere here. So I just copy and then paste. When I paste, it's going to come out like that. Fair enough. So you uh, you indicate where you want to put it. You click and then there you have it. So I have everything here. Um, I created a, P um, a PDF of it. I, I'm going to leave it in the description so you can check it so that you understand how the whole thing goes. So if you have a PDF of it, when you are creating an electrical plan detail, you can just go through it and know that okay, these are what you have to bring it and that's not what you have to. You have to ignore. So I'm going to leave the PDF in the description. You can check it out. This basically what I have here is what I have brought in here. And then I've given the description out. So though this is not entirely necessary, I just like to bring it in so that we all can see it and understand some basic things around it. So if you have this, let me just um, scale this up. Let me scale from this one. So if you have something like this, this is the single pull switch. Um, so I'm just scaling it up so that you can see what it is. So this is the single pull switch. When you have this alone in a plan, that, this indicates a single pull switch. But if you have this with something underneath it, the subscript is going to indicate what the 
switch is about so if you have um the single pool switch with two as the subscript here it, it means a double pool toggle switch which means it has two switches you can turn two things on with it same way for the three this is waterproof so you can put it outside if you are you know putting a switch outside of a building you just write you just put the single pool switch there with a subscript of wp so that people know that it's waterproof or the person the electrician doing it will get the correct material for it and then for the dimmer switch you just put the d there it indicates a dimmer switch a fan switch also so you can use the the uh, the switch to turn on the fan that's what this one is about so single pull fan switch means you can use the switch to turn on the fan in the building and then the remote control means you can use a remote to control that particular switch so that's very simple to understand so it's basically what is in the plan here what is in the plan here that's what i've used for this particular legend so i did it with respect to the project you can do a whole long one but it's just a waste of time so i just bring in what i have in the building um in the plan simple like that so you can also do the same thing it's very very simple to do i have a pdf down in the description you can check it out and then understand the whole thing so after doing this i think it is done that's how the detailing of an electrical plan is you don't have to do anything extraordinary all you have to do is create a legend that someone can see that this is what the whole thing is about or this is what this means that is all yeah so after doing that we want to create views we want to create views for the um for the plan here and then a view for the legend so that we can bring them into sheets we can bring them into our sheets when printing the whole idea of views that's it when you create views you can bring the views onto sheets so when we are printing we are going to put the views on the sheets you cannot put the project on the sheets it's the views that you created that's what you are going to put on the sheets that's why we create views in detail yeah so you want to go to views then come to name here come to new view and then we name it um, electrical detail um, hyphen electrical electrical plan so simple then you define your window you don't want it to show all of this so this means that the visible part is what is going to show in the view you created so i urge you always define your window so that it becomes you know more organized so you want to give it a bit of space on both sides to breathe and a space down to you know to create a, a title for everything so in detailing you always put a title there let's change the visual style to none everything else is okay so we say okay it is created now we create the next one for the uh, electrical plan legend. So, so we see um, electrical plan um, legend. So electrical plan legend. That one also you define your window. That one we are not going to give it any. Uh, we are not going to give it any um, title. So you can just do it. The just restricted to the to the image here to only the legend it's okay you don't have to give it any space because you are not going to put any title underneath it it's very simple so we press ok press enter change the visual style to none and then ok so if we should come to the the view manager when we come to the view manager these are the views we have created detail electrical plan and then the electrical plan legend so we are done here simple so we say okay so if you should come here you can also assess the, the views you've created from this side also and then it should pop up uh, in the detail views it should pop up here yeah here are they so the two views we created so that's the view for the floor plan i think in that video it was not showing the floor, plan, the floor plan was not showing. The view we created for the floor plan was not showing. So here it is. And then that is for the foundation. So in whilst we go, we create 
views for everything we do. So if we should come to details, we have views here. If we should come to sectional views, we also have uh, views for those ones also. So that's the idea of detailing. We are going to put the views on the sheets when we are printing. So with that, I would like to end today's video. My name again is Cedro. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe, give us um, a comment, like this video, and then let's push the channel. My name again is Cedro. See you later. Bye-bye.